The year is 2008, and Disney Channel is all about princesses, pop stars, and tween romance. Boys have nothing to watch on Disney Channel except icky girly mush. Girls dominated Disney, and preteen boys fled to Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon to escape the cooties. Rich Ross, president of Disney Channel at the time, knew that something had to be done. And on February 13, 2009, Disney XD was born. Disney XD's name is shrouded in mystery. Nobody can tell you what it stands for, not even Disney or Wikipedia. Some think it stands for Extreme Digital, the name of Disney's old website for exclusive content. But most say it stands for nothing at all. It was chosen because it looked cool. Disney XD needed a home, and what better place to take over than Toon Disney, the channel that once boasted animated classics like Kim Possible, Recess, The Replacements, and Lilo and Stitch the series. And trust me when I say this, nobody is going to miss Toon Disney. Of course, an epic channel had to start with the coolest show known to man, Phineas and Ferb, and you better believe that started the channel off with a good rhythm. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've got as much rhythm as that chair. All around, Disney XD was cool and it was new. Never had boys gotten a Disney franchise to call their own. Crash and Bernstein, Pickle and Peanut, and Gamer's Guide to pretty much everything immediately skyrocketed Disney XD's ratings. And it soon surpassed the main channel. All of the Disney Channel sitcoms went over to Disney XD, and girls had no channel to call their own. It truly was a victory, and that's how the story ends. I have nothing else to say, so thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe too. Actually, that's not what happened at all. Okay, okay, maybe Crash and Bernstein wasn't the best show, but Pickle and Peanut was- No dude, Pickle and Peanut was awful, and Disney XD never had good ratings. What do you mean? It's all in the script right here. Oh shoot, did I forget to send you the rewrites? Here you go. Oh, that makes so much more sense. In the beginning, Disney XD was doing okay. They mostly aired reruns of cartoons and other Disney shows, and none of their original series immediately became hits. When Disney bought Marvel in the summer of 2009, they began to create original cartoons about the Avengers and Spider-Man. And when they bought Lucasfilm in 2012, they acquired the rights to Star Wars and Pokemon anime. Disney XD didn't really gain much popularity from the aforementioned cartoons, but from what Disney Channel does best, sitcoms, Lab Rats, Pair of Kings, Kickin' It!, Mighty Med and Kirby Buckets shaped the channel, and all of these shows were cool. They all weren't just for boys, they were for everyone, and that might be what made them so great. These sitcoms had main characters who were girls, and those girls were cool. They were more than just some singing pop star, or more than just a princess who lives in a castle. They actually had real character to them, and that's why we enjoyed them so much. But the main reason why Disney XD didn't do so well is because their plan was flawed from the start. How could a channel marketed for just boys get any viewership from girls? While the main channel was made primarily of girl-centric shows, at least boys were invited to watch. In the mid-2010s, Disney XD was at the top of their game. While the critically acclaimed Phineas and Ferb was coming to an end, Milo Murphy's Law was just getting started. And Star vs. the Forces of Evil, Gravity Falls, Wander Over Yonder, and The Clone Wars were at their peak. And then 2017 came. That year, most of Disney XD's highest performing series had to end. And new series like DuckTales 2017 had moved over to the main channel along with reruns of Gravity Falls. Disney XD became more and more obsolete as many shows started airing on both Disney Channel and Disney XD. Disney XD officially shut down in Australia on January 6th, 2019 and will shut down in the UK and other countries later this year. So you may be wondering, what does the downfall of Disney XD mean? Nothing really, we're still getting the same programming, just on a different channel. It's good for the TV shows, which will get more attention on the main channel, and also for Disney Channel's ratings. Basically, it's all just going to be one big happy family over on the actual Disney Channel. But that still doesn't make it sad. I mean, we are losing a channel a lot of us grew up with. But like they say, all good things must come to an end. So there we have it guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it because it was a lot of fun to record and our Kingdom team really, really had fun writing it. So if you guys did like it, please give us a thumbs up and then also go comment down in the comments about your favorite part of this video and tell us your favorite Disney XD show while you're down there too. That is all we have, so I will see you in next week's video.